Kamo Obekonti. Woke ala ni lai kwe eba fe tamon begbe ni akela. Hallelujah. We pick it up from where we left yesterday. When we discovered that there is a place higher than holiness. And that is where God sits. And that is the level of worship. But tonight I want to pick it from another place altogether. Because one of the things we fail to understand is that what the Bible itself from Genesis through Revelation is teaching us how to worship God. That's all. From Genesis through Revelation, it's all about how to worship God. So tonight I'm picking it from another angle so we realize that you can't dodge. You can't say I was too busy, I forgot it was worship time. And Bishop, one thing that marveled me was that throughout the life of Jesus, he chose a husband snatcher to talk about worship with. Check your Bible. The only person Jesus spoke to about worship was the woman he met at the well. That was the only person he interacted with concerning worship. And guess what? It was not Jesus who mentioned worship. In her filth, she had a place that cares about God. In her shameful CV, she had a place that says attitude towards worship 100%. One thing you need to understand is that if you are a true worshiper, God will chase away all your friends. Let me show you what I mean. Deacon Business, come. Pastor Prince, come. Say, can I? Yes. Now, this is what God does. You are a worshiper. God loves you so much. They are your friends. Don't forget he is a jealous God. And he is so jealous about worshipers. So, this is what God will do. Immediately he discovers you, he will bless him. And when they begin to prosper, they will forget their friends. Bless this one too. Whilst you are still the same. Remember yesterday's message? The test? The trials? That even in the midst of the difficulty, you still look at God and say, is that all you got? Bring it on. Now, when you are left alone, then he will bless you so you know that you don't have to depend So, every true worshiper is a lonely person. If you are a true worshiper, go and ask David. Even people he was chasing demons out of were prepared to stab him. Now, this is what God does. After blessing them and they walking away, he will give you a throne. Because you sit where okay. every worshiper sits where God sits. So when you study about David, his choristers never wore anything different. Whatever David will wear is exactly what his worshippers wore. Do you really know the value of worship? And you come to church after worship? Miss Remwara, I never can treat me in Sabi. So if you say I'm going to worship Why treasure any other thing more Than that which makes God Let me tell you The day we stop worshiping God will cease to exist in our midst Prayer does not make God Prayer makes you aware That there is God Worship makes him aware that he has his people. 
So when you let go of worship, God will let go of you. Never. So please, your loneliness for worshiping God is a sign of the quality of your worship. Then you should know that your worship is rising. God does not look for worshippers in comfortable homes. Should I go for it? God doesn't look for worshippers in comfortable homes. He looks for worshippers who worship in pain. In your pain, you see, every prayer gives the devil work to do. This is a serious statement. Any prayer you pray, there is a mission in it for the devil. You check your prayers. If not that he is chasing, he is about to chase or has already chased. Every prayer employs the enemy. But he can never surface in worship. So the only time you can render the devil jobless is during worship. And the advantage we have over him when he was the worshiper is that angels don't have blood. Yes. <laughs> Angels don't have blood because they don't have heart. You need a heart to have blood. But they don't. They got no blood. Don't be taught wrongly. Angels no get blood. He was an archangel. He, the guy, an angel he be, he no get blood. That's why he keeps demanding for blood and the blood keeps clotting. So he keeps demanding. But the one we have, for it reaches to the it doesn't clot and what? And Come on church, let me hear you. Singing now, yeah, that, blood, that does what? That gives me strength only in the morning from day to day it will never, it will never can I see your right hand as you sing it again for it reaches for it reaches to the heart I can hear you church and it flows through the lowest valley say the blood yeah yeah the blood that gives from day it will never it will never can't hear you. It will never ever. For the last time, say it louder. It will never. It's power. So the advantage we have is that we have a heart. So blood cannot clot in us. So we can worship God in flesh and in spirit but until the encounter with that woman the worship was only in flesh without they knowing the formula for the spiritual aspect now the spiritual aspect of worship is the one that negates the pride of holiness you will understand when you grow the spiritual aspect of worship is the level that negates the pride of holiness. And that is when you come just as I am. 
that uh, when we were going to school, me I was stubborn, so I didn't learn the next line. Da 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 do da da da. Do I have people like that? Da do do da da. Di di di. Then we know here. Oh Lamb of God. Oh now boko ahu ota mami no. There is something about the spiritual level of worship that I call it the power of focus. God bless you, sir. And that is what I'm going to talk about tonight. The power of focus. Or you can call it at the party. Uh, the power. I like the way my children are smiling because they know what I'm going to talk about. How many of you have ever attended a party? Have you never been to a party? Let me see. Look, whether the party you attended, they were playing young way, your day, it is party. Am I safe? Whether the party you attended, they were playing, I can't stop thinking of the things you do. The way you call me, baby, when I'm old, it is make a big boy. That one also is a party. Whether the one you attended is dancing for, it is also. Or maybe the one you attended. Lante, don't go there. Ah. Or maybe you, the party you attended. Lady in red. Hey, you're so full. I'm a trashy tamogu and buffoon. I'm a chef. Yes, we tune here. Yeah, watch out what they want. Yes, who? Nuncho, oh, you are like that. Hey, Jack, what they make you make? Hey, yes, hey. So, Luke chapter 10 from the verse 38. I normally love to finish my message before I give the scripture. But this place is a Bible-based church. There's a church built on the word and not on Mliki Chinsi Bale. You know? So, Luke chapter 10 from the verse 38. Can we all read together? Go. Wait. I have a problem here. Why should they bring certain and a certain woman named Martha? A certain woman. Hey. Martha, the sister of Mary. Don't they know Martha? But why should they refer to her here as a certain woman? Let me tell you something. What you focus on determines the title you are given. Let's continue. Received Jesus into her house. Next verse. And she had a sister. So what I said earlier. Do you see it here? Let's continue. Which also sat at Jesus. Now, go, continue. But Martha was. Now, if you can see C-U-M-B-E-R-E-D, me and Leboni Macheleke, I'm busy. Say busy. So, let's use the word busy. Go. Uh -huh. Now, you understand it. As my Jane come no come Shall we continue? And came to Jesus and said, Lord, don't you care? Next verse. Next verse. Frustrations can take prayer away from you, but can never take worship away. 
Psalm 23, number 5. Go. Where? Where? No, 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 no. Where is the table? I still can't hear you. Where is the table? Look at the person seated next to you. Tell the person, I'm afraid you are my friend. Let's read it again. Thou prepareth. Next. Thou anointest. My cup runneth. Amen. Can we have church now? Yes. Can we have church now? Yes. Can we have church now? Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen. I woke up in the morning and I heard a knock at my door. I didn't know the person coming to me was coming from your end. With an invite. But that invite did not have our names on it it just had a seal and that seal is in the form of blood and that seal is written Jesus Christ that was the invite and anybody that gets that invite has an automatic entry to the party ground anybody with that invite must not, should not. Nobody has the right, whether you are the stronger bouncer or whatever, to stop anybody with that invite. Because what is written on it is universal. Anybody with it must not be stopped, should not be stopped, cannot be stopped, may not be stopped because of what you have. The book of Revelation tells me and they overcame the blood. So the blood gave you victory over hindrances. So nobody hindered you by yourself. Am I safe? I need your attention here because I'm taking you to a place now. Here you are with the invite. To a party just like Martha and Mary but because of Mary's record Bishop please forgive me I told you yesterday I'm not a Bible student but I know Mary was senior to Martha so Martha had no right to go to Jesus in the first place she has insulted the integrity of Jesus as if Jesus does not know what to tell Mary to do and we have a lot of them in the church. They think this person should rather do this. Pastor, you are wrong. I think this man should rather take this position. We have a lot of martyrs in the church. And they think the party belongs to them. The fact that you can cook does not mean you paid for the party. Somebody paid for. I did not come here to beg. I came by invite. If you know a martyr like that, give me a wiper. They think they know everything. One, Martha had money. She had her own house. Big people comes to Martha. If not so, Jesus wouldn't have gone there. Mary was a, was a prostitute. Look at the CV. Professional. In fact, according to research, Mary's beauty, no man can look at her and not fall. That's how beautiful she was. Yet, that beautiful thing was a prostitute. So Martha felt her self-acclaimed record makes her better than Mary. How many of you have been to parties and people think because of what they are wearing, you are not their class? Even amongst pastors, the car you drive, the house you live in, and the class of people you got in your church. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? You get it. 
if you don't dare it. Ah, Magado Jaya. Bishop, I remember inviting a man of God to come preach in my church. If I tell you what he did, you'll be shocked. He said, how many lawyers do you have in your church? My daughter is here, you can ask her. How many bank managers? How many this? How many this? How many this? I was like, hey. You know, go put. Then I called him back and I said, Sir, I'm sorry, I only have guarding egg sellers, tomato sellers, Kobe sellers. So we don't need you. But a time will come, you will need me. As I speak to you, seven months now, since last year, he has been looking for the same guarding excellence pastor to come and preach for me. Can I tell you something? Never look down on yourself because somebody looks down on you. If you know your content, you will know your value. If you know your content, look at your neighbor and tell the person, don't try me. I can't feel you. Tell the person, don't try me. Tell another person, I am loaded. Oh. Today, the same Abraham Lamtene Biake, oh yeah, Mlawo Loy, Kemlali Loy, and you are crushing in your soft, what's a for him here? I'm a Najee Fimoshi, Ludabida, I'm a Tamonto. So Martha insulted Jesus and trying to make Jesus feel like he doesn't know what he's about. Ah, Bishop, I think this man you made him the head of the Dickens board, he doesn't know how to talk. The other man, you know, he is well educated. I put him there because he doesn't know how to talk. Yes, so the position will teach him how to talk. Yes, sir. But I'm not putting him there because you think he deserves it. So Martha came to Jesus to insult Jesus. Ah, party a bononi. Somebody has a party and the person has invited me. What is your problem? You know who your enemy is? Yourself. Yourself. You are your enemy. The blood Jesus gave to Bishop it's not different from the one he gave to me. It's not different from the one you got. Why this mediocre attitude? At the party. Can you guys give me high life? I'm a Christopher no echo. Then you can see Martha seated there. Say at the party. You may not like high life, but I want high life. Let me dance my high life. Give me reggae. Maybe you love reggae. Skibidi wapo. Oh na 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 ye ye. Say. No Jesus. No lie. Say. Oh, 
Oh my little darling, don't shed no tears. Come on. Are we having church? Say that remember when I used to walk around calling on Sean. When nobody saw anything good that can come out of me. When my whole family, everybody gave up on me. Because I was smoking, sniffing, drinking. And I've lost it all. But then I met that man. He's placed his hands on me. Then he said to me, I got a whole lot to do with you, son. Then he whispered to me that everything's gonna be okay. So don't you worry, cause everything will be alright. Wulam, 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 wulam. If you had danced the high life with me, you wouldn't be lonely on the floor when reggae was flowing. You are not getting me. <laughs> At the party. Ladies and gentlemen, can I conclude my message now? Because I told you tonight, we, we're going to be crazy. Oh, maybe you don't like reggae. You don't like high life. But you like soccer. Or something from the Latin Americas. So, the, 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 the soccer people, they will also, Jehovah, you are in you. Oh Lord, say now, Jehovah, I trust in you. Say, I believe. Say at the party. The mood of everybody is determined by the DJ. Who happens to be the Holy Spirit in the church? You are not getting my message. <laughs> so Jesus invited you. The Holy Spirit is providing the music. Why are you still sitting? Or maybe you are from Ashanti region. Or maybe you are a gun. Yeah, What can you make you a Aboloi Aboloi Because Gamma was a Jamashimo certificate. MPP K is Gamma K. And DC came in. He hit Fair Gamma. No. Ask your neighbor, are you at the party? No. No. In, in a second, you will know where I'm heading. Why will you wake up? Take a shower. Dress up. Wear some perfume. Look your best. Pay transport, come to church, and then because the usher spoke to you disrespectfully, when it is time to come to the day table, thou prepareth 
you have been invited to the party the invite is your salvation and there is a table on that table there is healing on that table there is deliverance ask yourself why didn't he put a chair by the table kings and queens don't feed on tables two it is an abomination to set a table in front of a throne and if you are a royal priesthood stop looking for chair the throne is only one you are already seated on it so stop looking for chair you are bringing yourself low so my bible says Martha who did not understand the mystery of worship was forcing Mary to abandon worship and come and please the flesh hey we were all invited by the same thing but not for the same reason. <laughs> Chief, you were not brought into this church to sweep. God may have a reason, but the invite is the blood. If you cannot discover who you are and why you came, you will not enjoy the table. That is why you have three Christians praying for the same thing. Can I talk to my daughters? It is a shame to pray for a husband. I, li I like your silence. Now, the punishment God pronounced on the woman was that after the man shall you go. Am I right? Until then, it was men who go after women. So going after the man is a punishment. Why are you saved from that punishment and you are still going after the man? Sweetie, you're on the come. Like I told you yesterday. Honey, I do jinga kite. Me niye marina me fo nuk pa ane kakwa lanta wo ke ba ye nchi na. Neke be. Ata wanget. Aka lanta donko. Hey, sorry, I thought I was in my church. Who, who can interpret what I just said in tree for me? No, if you want to swag as a man, you can do that with that kind of legs. You can lanta and swag. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? You need angetes. If you got angetes, you can don't cause. <laughs> Why are you here? Why are you looking out for people who are talking about you? Why are you looking out for people who are making it better than you? Why are you looking out for people whose dresses are sweeping the auditorium? Is it your broom? Worshippers don't focus on what others are doing. I am talking about the power of focus. If you are worshiping God, your focus is God, not what somebody is wearing. Now, watch it. Let me conclude, then we go into some dangerous worship and prophetic atmosphere. Now, it says, Thou prepareth a table before me oh Yehoi Radon where I am coming from I don't remember the last time I had a full chicken thigh and at the party I see a very big chicken thigh on the table remember thou prepareth on the table and that chicken thigh is the kidney problem you have the healing is that chicken thigh but the table is in front of your enemy. The one who took away your boyfriend. You come to church and because you saw someone whom you were told says something about you. Ofe Moti, you won't worship and then food will be coming from the pulpit. You still will not take it. Aula, 
you don't know why you came at the party hey i will dance high life i will dance reggae i will dance abaja nyan topo jeje vinyelo mega juina mio mega nyocha nyeji mega blecha nyeji mega favile zamnam mega favile zamnam yo se akabo la oba eye makoi jeje vinyelo can you be Jimmy? I am a girl. It does not mean everybody at the party should be a girl. Elephant you, elephant me. But we are all at the party. And he that invited us has something specific for each and every one of us. Don't look at your neighbor, what he or she may be doing. Focus on your chicken thigh. If you know why you came, you will not look out for prophecy. Let me show you something. He called Abraham. He didn't call Sarah. Lord help me. He called Abraham. He didn't call Sarah. Sarah was not part of the covenant because Sarah was a choice of the son God. So any child that will come from Sarah, the son God will have a share. So God rendered Sarah barren until Abraham's focus on sacrifice, that is worship, forced God to open the womb. When Isaac was ready to marry, they sent to that same family which has the choice of the son God. God rendered her to barren because he doesn't share his glory. Can I tell you something? Stop sharing your worship. You will be barren. I like your silence. You will wake up in the morning and jump over your Bible and go open your Bible and your phone and check whether you have received a message from that maggot infested mouth guy. And then when he breaks your heart, you come back to the Bible, you jumped over. A You are lucky I'm not God. But let me show you something. Mommy, could you believe that Rebecca was also barren? Though fair. Then came Jacob. God did his best so Jacob will not choose the choice of the son God. So God brought Leah. Steal the blood. Went in for Rachel. Who stole the gods? At the party. So God had no other choice than to do an overhaul with Joseph. So there was an overhaul in the life of Joseph by his cousins who happened to be Ishmaelites. Now, Potiphar's wife was not an Egyptian, but a woman he got in war whose genealogy connects to the same family where Sarah, Rebecca, and Rahel are coming from. So then the devil has gone ahead to prepare for the person God wants to swerve he the devil with. But what the devil did not know was that Joseph had gone through a process that has given him a new desire, a new taste. My darling, the quality of your worship is determined by the process you have been through. Like I told you yesterday, have you gone through the process of overcoming the flesh? Have you gone through the process of overcoming pride and arrogance? Because the fact that you know you are holy, you think you can talk anyhow to everybody. What you have is not holiness, it is pretense. You are expecting the wedding and after the wedding, they will see what anti-holiness looks like. We have a lot of them in the church. Very obedient, tongue speaking, prayerful, worship, they are the first to start shedding pain tears. <laughs> oh, 
After the wedding, after the appointment, after the contract, then they stop dining on the same table. How many of you are ready to enjoy the party tonight? Tell your neighbor, I didn't come because of you. Tell the other person, neither you. I came for me. I can't hear you. Say, I came for me. So me will enjoy the party. Salvation is for all of us. But who you become depends on you. So Bishop, the table is set. Hmm? Uncle, the table is set. It's been a long time you tasted chicken thigh. If I were you, immediately I sat and I saw the thigh. Father, in the name of Jesus, I create a barrier over this chicken thigh. Let nobody touch it until I get there. I claim it. I rob it. I declare it. If this becomes your attitude at the party, you will not see who is wearing six inches here. Because your focus. But here is the danger. Because the one standing by the table is your enemy. When you get there, he or she will not give you the chicken thigh you have been praying over. Will you take the one he's giving you? It is not from God. Hola. Ona wash wo ni kashi. Beni tajen ton in boy so le no. Kole. Ni o kan me plate em. Because the kingdom of God suffereth violent and the violent things you have not paid the price for, you let go easily. If you have been praying during the party, hey, what is your focus? What is your focus? The secretary refused to submit your application. So you are not going again. What prevents you from creating a mess at the reception? I have done it before. I was once, a pr I was working with Ghana Prison Service as a prison officer, not a prisoner. No, I need to clarify that. I wore the prisons. <laughs> now, when the time for recruitment came, I didn't know. But after two months plus, I decided to go past because they should have called. In those days, phone better. But they had a way of getting into contact with you. But I didn't get any of such information. And they have been in recruitment for three plus months. And the whole thing is six months. When I went and checked on the board, my name was there. Hey, Keshochi Maya. Because my name was still there. One officer far away screamed, Hey, what are you doing there? I also screamed back, Why are you asking me? away from there. I won't go. My name is there. He said, how? If your name is there, why are you not in recruitment? I said, I just discovered that my name is there. So tell me what to do to belong there. Then the commandant heard my scream. Because where I was screaming is just about five officers away from the commandant. He came out and now everybody got up. Yes, sir. Your attitude at the party determines how happy the one who invited you will be. No, think again, then you will understand. I will repeat, just what you will do here tonight will make Jesus happy or sad. He came to his own but they received him not. But as many 
to become. Then the man came out and said, hey, young man, he didn't say hey. He said, young man, what's your problem? I said, Master, my name is there. I didn't know I was part of them. I just came to check. He said, what's your name? I mentioned my name. He said, come. I have not yet gone through drills. So I was walking like a civilian. Then the same guy who shouted at me, will you walk well? I said, how? <laughs> because this is how, uh, my darling, don't be a photocopy at Jesus' party. Be you. Don't let anybody mold you differently. He knows you before he called you. Don't be a photo. Ah, tell somebody, I can't be your photocopy. I am me. Let a lady put on a block heel shoe. The walk is different. Let it be pencil here. Pencil here is different. Block heel is different. Chinese canvas too is different. Check what I'm wearing, then you would understand why I'm walking the way I'm walking. But don't look at my walk and determine. I may be wearing something. I said, how can I walk? I got there. He said, did you say your name is? I said, yes, yes. Then he mentioned the name of a lady who was with us in Cuba. I said, yeah, she was dancing for me because I was the cultural prefect. So they were all dancing for me. He said, oh, so you know her. Okay, go home and come with your trunk, your bucket, your pressing iron, your everything. Tomorrow, 5 a.m., Make sure you rip. I said, did you say five? I'll be here three. <laughs> Chief, I went straight home. Let me make this confession. Jesus is here. Huh? <laughs> yes, I had a trunk. But the pressing iron was broken. It was not working. I knew it was not working. But it is a pressing iron. Who let no niji a unto? No na ko na ba undang. There is an old gun song, mommy. I know you will know. Esho heko. Oh, what mo ichi ai? No, you think you don't know. You don't know. So I should sing it for you. Esho heko. Life is to be lived, not to be left. So live life, don't live life. Can I say it again? Say to yourself, I, Abraham Blamte, I will live life. I will not live life. By 3 a.m., I was there. Those who are to inspect the things I will bring where I sleep. So automatically I joined. Yes. If they were there, they would have blocked the iron. My darling, let your desire from God determine your commitment in worship. Don't look at somebody to decide what to do. Let your need. They said I should go and change over and join them for endurance. Njofu eche. But I had to join. At the end of the day, I became a prison officer in two and a half months. Yeah. And I hold that record till date. My darling, you haven't lost it. You are just blind, lazy, and unforgiving. You are blind, you are lazy, and unforgiving. Your boss does not hate you. Try working better than the rest and see if he hates you. Listen to me. I don't joke with worship because there is a reward that comes from worship. But that reward, Bishop, doesn't come for free. Your attitude at the party. Hello. Maybe you are there for chicken wings. I am there for the thigh. 
Somebody, somebody is there for the breast. Every, everybody, everybody is serving God for a reason. Why should you worry about somebody's? At the party. My years in Cuba taught me Spanish. Taught me salsa. You know what is salsa? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> solo sal is solo salsa. Sal means salt. Salsa simply means spices. So the dance is like you are spicing up a movement, you know. Eta mo okman logo. Ninu e patapa. Onyo o chekman logo salsa. They don't speak Portuguese in Cuba. But there were Angolans and Mozambicans in Cuba. And I am the cultural prefect. We have all been invited to the party on the Isle of Youth. I met Angolans. I met Mozambicans. And because of culture, we fraternize. Don't you think this is an opportunity to learn Portuguese? So I learned. What are you doing though? What are you doing with the opportunities? I learned Portuguese. So I speak Spanish. I speak Portuguese. I went to Cuba. They don't speak Portuguese. But I met people. What have you taken home after meeting that troublesome brother? What have you taken home after meeting that unforgiving boss? What you take home determines what you show those who did not go to the party with you. Don't behave like some old ladies. They will take everything that is being shared at the party. And every grandchild will get a portion. You come to church and you go home with nothing. All because the one standing by the table, you hate the person. So you refuse to come to table. All because the one standing by the table is an enemy. So you refuse. You just carried the plate and you went to take salad. Meanwhile, you know that salad is not you. You are not the salad type. You like your banku and tilapia. You like your fufu and goat meat live soup. But because you hate, most of us always go home empty handed. All because we see an enemy. Hey! A friend will consume what is yours, but an enemy will not dare. That is why God did not put your table before your friends. Every morning I pray for four enemies and one friend. The number of enemies you have determines the number of tables set for you. Are you ready for the party? Ask your neighbor, are you ready? Stop coming to church and going home the same. Daddy is always giving us the meal on the table. Some will come to church on Sunday not because they want to hear the message. They just want to continue last week's gossip. Conclusion. You will go home bitter. You will go home worse. You didn't dress all the way here not to get something on the table. Tell your neighbor, excuse me. If you have lost appetite, just join me. Take it. When we come and sit, add it to mine. Am I talking to somebody here? Let us stop. be at the party and enjoy. Hey, cash and my back. Okay, my way. And enjoy everything. I said, enjoy what? Oh, I'm wearing some, you know, this thing, so I can't dance high life. Bombo Jiko Senyo. 
You come to church. I heard the praises team sing a very nice praises song. And I was looking at some standing there as if they don't belong to the party. Are you serious? Majo. The joy of the organizer is defined in the celebration of the invitee, invited. If you don't dance, he will regret. He paid a price. Once I was foolish and sin ruled my heart. Grace was bestowed on me long, long ago. I have a promise and I know it is true for I'm only yes. But what? Only a sinner Only a sinner Tell your neighbor your story This is my story To God For I'm only a sinner What you take home after the party will convince those you left that truly you went to a party. Sunday after Sunday when you go home, the Bible says the steadfast love of the Lord never ceases and his mercies never comes to an end. They are new every morning. What you will take home tonight must be different from what you take home tomorrow because every day he does new things. Don't let somebody's actions cause you to reject what is on the table. The girls will say, I'm a book belong. And then you are coming. Kwali, what's your favorite meal? She's my daughter. So car for low floor. Those of you who didn't hear, she said, Banku ke emomi floor. Why me? Kakadia Mashala Opokuyemi Wele Na Feyem Ni Oba Patia Oye Kuichi. And when you were coming to the table, the one serving once upon a time insulted your father or killed your brother. So you will say, he did not invite you to the table to be a friend of the enemy he brought you to the table because whatever is on the table is yours stop giving up on yourself because of those looking at you some their eyes are big natural not because they are witches So don't call people witches because they have big eyes. One time we were going to headquarters, myself, three of us. And then at Kaokudi Gold House, we were looking for lift. And a taxi driver came. Lord, forgive us what we did on that day. Bishop, if you see the face of the guy, even Satan will run. Immediately we concluded that by the nature of his face, he will be wicked. How many of you have behaved that way before? Look at you. Me, I'm not like that. <laughs> then I leaned on the current music director of Ghana Prison Service, Nina Dogona. I said, cool, Nina, no, you son again. <laughs> and then he was like, Charlie, Okunka, isn't it wicked? We were talking and the guy just leaned and said, where are you going? Lante in my mouth. I said, oh, we are not going <laughs> anywhere. Then my friend was like, oh, he's lying. We are going to headquarters. They said, sit down. Hey. Nina sat in the car, so I also joined. From Kaokudi to Cantonment, nobody said Pim. <laughs> the 
the face alone but behind that face there was love with a lot that we needed at that time don't let the face of your enemies scare you there is something in front of them that, uh, uh, i don't know who i'm talking to but i came to tell you don't look at their faces right in front of them there is something that belongs to you the guy drove us straight to headquarters he didn't take a penny and when we got down thank you thank you and I was oh no that's all right he spoke perfect english with a fearful face <laughs> be careful who you give up on they may be your helpers at the party we all have the same invite if you don't like reggae sit down high life will come if you don't like high life yes yes that's what is it what is it what is it? Oh, you let me see you. He brought you to the party. He has something to make you happy. Don't look at the enemy. Dress up. Get ready for your time will come. And when you get to the table, give him praise. Give him thanks. Give him honor. If the devil could stop you, he would have stopped you before getting here. Don't let his presence at the table cause you to reject your blessing. Tell your neighbor, excuse me. Oh, say, excuse me. I am here for the party. I've got my mind made up, and I will because I want to see my Jesus. Are you at the party? Oh, I understand. You don't like reggae. I can hear you. Then all of a sudden, come and see what the Lord has done for me. He has taken away my sorrows and now I'm free. I can't make good hallelujah guru. I can make hallelujah. Let me hear you. Say this one. Hey, yeah. He has given me victory. God has given me victory. He has given me victory. Then all of a sudden, send me kutu kutu, nami niwa yo, send me muni muni, nami na wasi yo, make out the sea, hachi yo. Send me kutu kutu waje, hey, mi muni muni, make out. Then all of a sudden, hey, yeah, wanna, wanna, na, why, yeah, hallelujah. At the party, hey, yeah, wanna, wanna, na, why, yeah, don't you know? Wanna, na, why, yeah, hallelujah. Then somebody come, yeah, bam, so, yeah, bam, so, yeah, bam, so. Yeah, bam, 
Provided. The invite was for everybody. So your need is on the table. The invite, when you are worshiping God, worship Him because you can see something on the table that you did not deserve. But the invite, because of the invite, the enemy will be there but cannot stop you. He says, The enemy cometh, but he has nothing. Tonight, I'm giving you just five minutes. We are going to pray just a short prayer then we'll zoom into worship Lord give me the grace to claim what is mine at the party by law I did not qualify to be a presence officer but so long as what was meant for me on the table was there I qualify your salvation was not cheap so don't leave anything for the devil to take. Tell your neighbor, I will take all. I didn't say recover. I said, I will take all. If you can't speak gun, look at your neighbor. Come on like a man loafing. I pray over somebody tonight. Before you come back here tomorrow, you are coming ready for a new miracle. But before you get home tonight, those who saw you come will not recognize you. You see, when you come to church and go home, and those you left don't gossip about you, you came home empty-handed. Can I say it again? When you get home, they must gossip. Hey, and then so the baby food for honey. Now no so sao, honey. We want to hear next week, you So they will end up saying, Jamaya Krono. <laughs> Am I talking to somebody? Martha was focused on useless things. But Mary decided not to miss anything at the party. So Jesus said to Martha, Martha, you worry about nothing. The most important thing is worship. And Mary has taken it at my feet. When you are worshiping God, you don't see whose armpit is not smelling well. When you are a true worshiper, you don't see mistakes. You don't hear a voice that is flat. The quality of worship is not determined by how high standard the equipments are because those instruments don't have heart. It is the one playing who has heart. And if you, the one playing, have the heart of God, you transfer it through what you produce. The harp David had did not have heart. The anointing was on David, but David transferred it through the harp. Bishop, I made a statement and a lot of musicians were angry with me. 
when they went and checked their Bible, they realized that they were lost. Every musician must be paid. No problem. The laborer deserves. That makes you a laborer. Sons don't look for wages. They wait for inheritance. Ah, 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 ah. You are a laborer. You, we pay you. It is Bible. But if you are a son, wait for inheritance. For years, I served Apostle General Sam Kranchiankra. I never took a penny as a musician. I raised the junior choir. I never took a penny. A penny. I started Nungwa branch. I never took a penny. Michelle Camp, I never took a penny. This is the reward. Children look out for inheritance. Laborers look for monthly pay. So we are not against paying of musicians. But we'll keep seeing you as laborers. So you can be fired and hired. I'm a musician. If you care to know, I did music in Cuba. My music is not from Winneba. So mine is not sulfur notation that do me so no. I specialized on the saxophone. I play sax. But I did it all for free. Because I'm a son. So there is an inheritance. You can imagine Jesus taking salary. He wouldn't be seated on the right hand to inherit. Let your interest determine your attitude today. Christians are too much of work and pay. So we still remain as laborers. Even to give, we are looking for what we will get in return. How many of you speak Gan? You do. You do. The rest they don't. Then don't tell them what I said. I was praying in tongues. It means the spirit of the Lord is upon me. There is this song sung by Abranti Amachi Dede. And uh, you see yourself. Some of you are saying, I was born a Muslim. I played four different bands before I became born again. My last band was Tarantula. My age mates will remember that band. <laughs> Listen to me. Never jump above your height. You will land on a quicksand. So at the party, take what is yours and you will not be filled with envy. The fact that two people can fall down when you say, Mahalo Jebot is here. He ran over her in Jesus' name. Yes, we are Jesus at all. Bishop, am I safe? Church, am I safe? What is Jesus? It is J-E-S-U-S. -E I like the way the Nigerians even pronounce it. It is better than Jesus. But Jesus... So, this, this song has been ministering to me a long time, even when I was singing it. And I was asking, Christians, there are some songs, we call them worldly songs. And the one we rather sing in the church are songs that were consumed, so we belge them. Not songs that were conceived to be birthed. So, our songs don't last more than three months. 
but since time immemorial, the songs that were conceived and birthed, if he is still there. Oh yeah, still powerful. Me sinner. You are a liar. You are a thief. He knows, yet he says, come to the table. Tonight, you are saying, Lord, anything that stops me from coming to the table, I break it in the name of Jesus. Your body. 
It can be your financial crisis. It can be anything. But still, the table is there. On that table, there is healing. On that table, there is deliverance. SSL.
right where you are, just lift up your hands and close your eyes. The power of focus. Ah. Don't let your circumstance cause you to keep quiet. Take what is your in your heart. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> Go for it. <laughs> claim it. Claim it. Claim it. That sickness. Uh, that shame. That disappointment. That setback. The solution to all them are on the table. Take it right now. Don't look at anybody. You don't need to see sister B or brother A. Claim it. I need some strong men all over the place. The Lord is working. The Lord is touching. Deliverance is taking place right now. Hey! Yes, a closed mouth is a closed destiny. They will not silence you. They cannot shut you up. Anything that blocks you, that stops you from accessing the table. Tonight, we chase it with fire. We chase it with fire. Right now, right now. Yes. Spirit of the living God. Spirit of the living God. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Spirit of the living God. Spirit of the living God. Yes. Yes, Lord. Spirit of the living God. Spirit of the living God. Rahabadu Jesu. Imahaduli Bidiyandalaba. Spirit of the living God. Spirit of the living God. Jesus. Yes, Lord. Not again. Not again. Not again. Yes. Not again. Not again. Your story must change. Access your table. Access your table. Every set. Access your table. Tonight. 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 Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Not again. Not again. Not again. Whatever is yours on the table, take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Whatever is yours, no more tears, no more shame, no more failure. It is yours. 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 Take it. The party has been waiting. The party has been waiting. It is yours. No one will rob you from tonight. Receive your visitation. Receive. Now what to onyakopo? Now what to say? Oh, Baba, Ninyomse, lift up your hands. Ati jina.
Receive your touch. Lift up your hands. Just two minutes. Father, you keep watch over your word to perform. Whatever your people were denied in previous parties, by the count of five, with their hands lifted and their hearts ready, let your angels release unto them. Let your angels release unto them right now. Wherever you are standing, by the count of five, receive that touch. One, two, three, four, five. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. I declare restoration. I declare recovery. I declare restoration. Every mask of shame is removed. The mask of setback is removed. The mask of fear is removed. The mark of miscarriage is removed. The mark of poverty is removed. Receive favor. Receive success. Receive joy. Whatever your hands will find to do, on the table pick your healing pick your healing pick your healing amen amen i see and say and your hope so would you dear I love this. 